Hi guys, welcome to another session of All Tackle TV. I'm down here at Sam's Lakes. Um, been here quite a few times as you see with my video. Um, lucky enough, got a day off work, as you can see. Lovely, bright, sunny day. And I thought I'd come out and give the old pellet wagger a go just before we get into autumn and everything starts to cool down and we all start to change tactics. Um, Lake's got a lovely stock of carp up to double, um, double figures and above. Um, so good chance of obviously a decent net of fish as well because there's a fairly good volume of them. Um, and when you get them going in here, you really can get a good weight on the wag. Um, so also the other reason for having a go on the wag today was I've got my new 11 foot Guru Aventus rod to um, get out and have a go with, which is this little bad boy here. So I'm well looking forward to this to give it a go. So, so pellet wagger fishing really probably one of the easiest forms of fishing you can get as in regarding baits. Um, pellets, as it says in itself, pellet wag. So usually traditionally you're fishing it, you can fish sixes, eights, elevens. Um, today I've got some six and eight mil pellets that I'm going to be using for feeding out to draw the fish up in the water. Um, we'll be using them on the hook, they're just a normal dynamite horse pellet. Um, but I've also been obviously got one out and bought myself some of these new, what they call the pinging range. I've um, got two flavours today, uh, the Old Faithful Betaine Green and the Sweet F1. Um, these are my probably two favourite flavours by Dynamite, um, especially the Sweet F1. It's caught me a lot of fish, especially their two mils and their ground baits. Um, they're definitely around about an 11 mil pellet, probably a bit bigger than that, probably a bit more like a 12, 13 mil pellet. Um, I will give them a little measure just for any of you guys that want to know the exact size of them. Um, they're aimed at long distance um, fishing for pellet waggler. I mean, if I go out to the middle, it's a fair whack. I'm going to be using up to an 8 gram wag today. Um, might have to go a bit further if the wind gets up um, weight wise. Um, but yeah, but for me, to be fair, if the fish have seen it all, wide limited to distant, long distance. Um, they're a heavy, nice, dense pellet. Um, perfect for the bomb as well, to be fair, guys. So, and these fish in here have got big gobs, so I've got no fear that they will take these. Um, so yeah, going to give them a go, and see what happens. This is a staple diet of pellet wag feed. So as you can see, it's got a couple of different types of dynamite coarse pellet there, and that's going to be my feed. Traditionally, I like to start with seven, eight to between seven, eight, ten pellets. Just every now, just keep building and building and building that. Once the fish arrive, I'll start to cut back and let the fish dictate to me how often I feed. Um, but what I will do is I'll drop the amount I feed, so I'll drop down to three or four pellets because I just feel if I put too many pellets over the top at once, it's giving the fish loads of different hook baits to aim for, and I really want them to nail mine um, around that amount. Um, another reason why I try the bigger pellet just to see if it stands out more. Okay, guys, so this is the weapon for choice today, as I mentioned earlier on, it's the Aventus 11 foot. 11 foot float rod, there you go. So, and that's coupled with my Free Dower Old Faithful 3012 reel. This rod, of what I've seen so far in the talking to people, has got lots and lots of power, lower down in the blank, but nice and forgiving in the top to real whip that line up through the water and take and get that hook hold from that fish. Because, especially with pellet wag fishing, you really get, want to nail that fish as soon as that float buries. Um, as I say, because you will miss bites if you've not got that real quick line pickup, um, and this does really whoosh, real pick up of what I've seen. So I'm looking forward to having this a bash today. Um, line wise, so onto the rig, um, main line is six pound new Guru Pulse Pro. So first time of using that today, and also I have coupled that with a 15 inch hook length and that is of 019 and that is featuring a pellet waggler guru hook on the bottom as well back with a band obviously for you for the pellet um, guru pellet waggler eight gram may come if the fish comes short might even drop down to a four or six if they go longer might have to go up to a 10 which i'll show you in a minute just to get out between the bushes uh, the trees sorry over there because they can sometimes be a bit sneaky and hide in the shade even though the sun's out and you think they'd be basking in it um, so yeah that's the weaponry of choice and also the rig. I will go into a bit more detail and shade it up close, obviously a bit later. Um, but let's hope we catch a few guys. And thanks for watching as always. So the first thing with pellet waggler fishing, as I say, I'm no expert, but I do enjoy it and I've done it a few times now, is to build the swim. The fish aren't gonna be there straight away unless you're really lucky. So, 
obviously while you still cast it out, still put your float where you want it to be, where you've chosen to fish, but don't be afraid to change as well. If you see fish moving elsewhere, and it's just a case of six or seven pellets in the catapult pouch, feed. Feed. Get the float a little twitch while it's out there. It's one of my favourites as well. Just brings that pellet back up in the water, flicks it up like that and just starts to drop it again. So any fish coming into the noise of these feed pellets. You might take your one early on. But the main thing at the moment is just getting some bait to get draw them up. I've seen a few fish about. So hopefully we'll have a few fish. Steady stream. And this is the case of just to keep casting. It's quite an active method this, so if you're a lazy fisherman, it's not for you. <laughs> Here we go. Fish on. That's taking all of about five minutes, guys, and we're into our first fish of the session. Let the rod do the work, keep it low, and then just pump. For all you newbies out there and youngsters, reel it in, pull it back, and then pump down to the fish. A little, little common, only a small one this, but a welcome first fish to the net. And that's, that's on an 8 mil at the moment. There we go. One thing is you've seen probably from other videos of Sam's, these fish go crazy, no matter what their size. First fish, happy days. as well because you've disturbed the swim bringing a fish through it don't cast straight back out you can do if you've got a load of fish and it's later on in the session but at the start just get a little bit of bait out there again get their confidence back to come back in and then back out we go See the odd black torpedo out there now, as I call them. Definitely a few fish. Probably about another few metres beyond now. Just starting to show an interest. Set my wag at about two, just about probably about two and a half foot at the moment. Definitely worth playing around if you struggle for bites. Sometimes quite deep. You know, sit if the water here like six foot deep, start at four foot and work your way up, depending on what the fish want. Um, and other times you could be fishing literally the hook length, 12 to 15 inches.
flick. There we go. Fish is on again. No. There we go. Another fish. So the other thing to do is stick the rod under your butt. Keep your bend in the rod. Once you've got the fish away from the main group of fish, and feed. Just keep those fish in that area. Oh, we lost that one. You will get it. You will lose the odd fish. Sometimes you foul look them where they're darting in and out of the pellets. But just don't get frustrated by it. Just carry on and trust me, they will come. running towards the island. Took it literally on the pellet impact in the water. Got a few fish out there now, circling where I've been feeding. So they're definitely up for having it in the water. Angry one, this one. Sometimes you just got to let them run. So even the small fish, if they jolt, they will do you. That rod's got lovely action. Slightly bigger one, this one. Lovely peachy gold colour. Another comment. Does not want to get, does not want to come in one bit. Disturb the cut of fish in close. So I'll definitely be coming back here for a bit of a close quarters pole fishing. That's something I've not done at Sands. Up you come. Oh, lovely clean fish. There he is. Still ain't done. Look at that rod. Beautiful arc. Go on, Aventus. Get in there. Just calm down. There she comes. Good fish, about six pound. Let's see if we can have another one. bit of feed.
feather that float in. I like to do that just to stop it really going in harsh and spooking the fish off. If it just comes in gently with a little plop, it just sounds like another pellet going in. Sean. Don't love the pellet wag, eh? All tackled up Facebook. Boom! Happy days.
food. Have a small common again. No, it's a mirror, little small mirror this time. comes out nice and easy. And another one, in you go. Small common again. No, it's a mirror, little small mirror this time. comes out nice and easy. And another one, in you go.
another small comment. I say small, but they're not small, small. <clears throat> so guys, that's just part of one of the nets I've had on the pellet wag today. So, proof in the pudding. Get yourself some pellets, get yourself some pellet wags, smash a few of these bad boys out. Thanks for watching guys. So guys, I've had a great day here at Sam's today, fishing with my 11 foot Guru Aventus pellet wag rod. Um, caught loads of fish. Um, haven't caught the real biggies that are in here, which I was hoping to do with the old dynamite donkey chokers, the, the new pinger pellets. Had two on those, the, the bigger fish, which is to be expected. Um, when you actually look at them, compare them to the size of an eight mil, you can see how big they really are. Um, so with the size of fish I was getting today, between three and six pounds, then they were just struggling to get it in their mouth, I think. So I was definitely getting loads of bites. They were hitting it but obviously they just couldn't fully get it in enough for me to nail them with a hook. So, um, but I have no doubt I'll be trying these on the bottom lake where there's fish, lots of double over double figure fish, which I think these will be perfect, um, especially on the bomb as well. Um, places like monks, these will be good on the bomb just because of the size of them and a lot of the monks fish are well over double figures now. So, um, so yeah, good addition to the range by Dynamite. Um, but yeah, using the normal six and eight mil course pellets today, I've had a great day here. So I've had well over 100 pound of fish. Um, yeah, it's been a brilliant, brilliant day, guys. So, so this is the these are the wagglers I've been using today. So the eight gram Guru Balsa, and honestly, these fly like darts, pre-weighted really really good I've been fishing out towards between the two islands there so a fair chuck and then they've made it there pretty much easily really so probably could have gone a little bit further and then obviously if I wanted to go further again a 10 or a 12 would have been ideal um, but yeah brilliant these little floats really really good from Guru so if you've not had them you haven't used them give them a go and if you as I say I'll be doing a little bit more to this pellet waggler video as well like a second piece just going through rigs um, and why and how and how I approach things and why that why, why I do it. So, so guys, these are the floats we've used today from Guru. They're the eight gram balsa ones. Done really well today. I'll show you roughly where I was fishing out in a minute. Um, been spot on really. Really, the bite indication is really good. They sit nice in the water. If you feather them in like most floats, they land lovely. If you want a bit more of a plop, just let them go, and they will give you a nice deep plop. Don't dive under. Um, very deep at all, they're literally near enough bang up straight away um, you're seeing them sit like this with just a tip which is ideal and it's, once it's under you're nailing them um, but yeah if you haven't used these guys or you're new to pellet waggler fishing definitely worth putting these in your armoury um, and I will do obviously a bit more on the rig itself just to show you as well so thanks for watching guys I've had a great day um, yeah and if you're in this area in Kent near Maidstone check out Sam's Lakes, it's, um, it's a real good mixed fishery, great for when we start getting to the cold weather, big bags of roach and skimmers, so if you're the silverfish type of angler, check it out as well. Cheers guys.